Welcome back to the outdoor experience. I'm about to paint my uh, hunting rifle today. I've never done this before, so let's hope it turns out good. If you are painting a rifle yourself, you wanna make sure you're removing the important pieces away like the ball, especially if it's a ball action. What I did was I just shoved a bunch of uh, tissues in there and got it real tight. And then even when I paint, I'm gonna be careful not spraying the internals. I got the trigger as well covered up. I don't want the trigger. Also the optics, you don't want the optics uh, to be painted at all. That's about it. I'm gonna, I got a little pulley system going on here. I'm gonna hook it up and I'm gonna paint it hanging like this. For the colors I will be doing, I'm gonna be doing uh, the base color with brown. Then I'm gonna be doing uh, different combinations with the color green, hunter green to be specific. And then I got like finishing touches to do with the sand color. So I'm gonna use like different objects. I got like a few sticks laying around from uh, the backyard and I got some, uh, some netting to add more of a uh, definition to the rifle itself. This is kind of the mesh I got. It's uh, to be specific, it's stocko mesh. And then I just, I found these uh, branches outside. Not branches, but uh, bark from a tree, I should say. I'm gonna use those for like different patterns like this. Lay them around, hit them with the brown. I'm gonna start putting a, a nice thin layer of uh, the brown base coat. So I'm gonna just kind of do the whole thing. Put about stock over here first. So I just did a thin, thin coat. As you can see here, it looked pretty good, honestly, for the first coat. I'm gonna probably do one more coat after it dries up. It is next to the soap, so it should probably be done pretty quickly. I, I might have to hit the barrel a few more times, but it's looking good so far. It's looking really, really good. I'm back here. Uh, the gun ended up drying out pretty decent and it looks really, really good so far. Hopefully the next couple of layers with the, with the Hunter Green adds more, uh, details to it and it looks a lot better. So I think I'm gonna start doing stripes on this one. Do the barrel down here, around the trigger. If you ask me, this is starting to look really, really good. Or I'm just getting high from this paint, I don't know. It could be both. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna see if I can put some of those uh, branches up and, and different things. So the gun is coming out really, really nice, especially after that green color, different stripes. In some spots is a little more green, some spots is a lot lighter. So I think now we're gonna go with the sand color and I was testing out how, how I'm gonna do the sand color because I didn't want to ruin the dark colors with the super light one. So what I did was I grabbed a plate and I kind of mixed all three colors together and kind of made this like light, light green and got like this cardboard paper. And then I'm gonna just dab it on there. And then I'm gonna just dab it in a few different spots like this. Do the barrel area. We don't want to do too much here because it is a it is a brighter color. Do a little bit of the optics here. Have that different color popping through. It's hard to hold the gun here too when you're hitting it. Yeah. Keep smooth with the whole gun. I think that's all I'm gonna add. Do on top of the barrel. I missed a few spots around here. On this side by the hand grip. It's looking honestly really, really nice. Because it's, I think the more you add it, it looks better. I like it, at least. <laughs> yeah? If you don't like the gun after it, then I'll take it. <laughs> I'm gonna let it dry and see how it comes out after it fully dries up. So, while I was waiting for it to dry, I thought maybe I'd add a little more uh, different colors to it. So, I just mixed uh, brown and green now, instead of mixing all three colors. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just mix this together. I think we're gonna need some more green, yeah. I had to add a little more green color to it. It was just way too much brown. And now we got this like a very like 
My dad here is gonna hold the rifle for me because it's moving around too much. I'm gonna try to put it randomly in different spots that. This this one you're not gonna see it too much, but it's gonna blend in. It's gonna blend all the colors yeah. in, yeah. That's good. I just uh, hit the rifle with a little bit of brown, a little bit of uh, green, kind of throughout the whole thing, kind of just blend the whole colors in together. And I think now it's blending a lot and better. The, the white color was just a little too much, I think. Now I think it's really, really nice and really blended in. Welcome back, it's the next day here. I had to let it actually dry out because it, it, it just wouldn't want to dry. It was just super sticky and I don't want to touch it. So it just, it's honestly looking really nice. I didn't get on a video last night, but I went and I covered a lot of the white spots out, like, because they were just sticking out way too much. I wanted to kind of blend the whole rifle in. On some spots, I did go a little too heavy. Uh, like there's a few bumps like around here. They're not really noticeable. That's the whole rifle right there. From the end of the barrel, all the way through. All the way through here. Honestly, I think it came out amazing. I went around, I went with the green and the brown and covered and faded a lot of the spots in. The only thing that wasn't colored, this. I'm sure I could have did this part, the actual lever for it, but I didn't bother, honestly. It, it's just like so small, like it, it's not that big of a deal, at least to me. And obviously the trigger, didn't call it the trigger at all, at all. But everything else is is uh, painted. I did get a little, a little overspray on this end of the lens, but nothing that like you can't go in there maybe with like a razor and just kind of like carefully remove it. You don't want to scratch the actual uh, glass part. But besides that, I think it, it just turned out really amazing. I definitely like it a lot more than black. Also, I want to say thank you for uh, showing a lot of support on my last video. It was my first video on the channel, actually, and I got a lot of uh, support from you guys on the last one, and it was much appreciated. I really enjoyed making that video. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe learned something. Either don't do what I did or do it better than me. But I think it turned out really amazing. I uh, hope you guys have a, an amazing day and I'll see you guys next time.